<laughs> or or if you're like short and I'm like, why is he being short? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I'll be like, I know I'm 5'8", but I'm not that short. <laughs> beautiful people and welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be five things that we didn't expect from long distance that's ten yeah but then we're gonna go long <laughs> distance before we get into the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel subscribe. hit the no we have the new subscribe. no wait, wait, wait. give me the hand here subscribe to the channel I gotta stop doing these things. Hit the notification bell and without further ado, let's just jump into the video. You went so slow. Yeah, because I was still talking. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, so we're going to talk about five things that we didn't expect in a long distance relationship. Now, keep in mind, this is a long distance relationship. I live in the United States of America and mm -hmm. Dua lives in Barcelona, Spain. It's not just long distance from like state to state or city to city. It's like across the pond long distance and when we first met we didn't expect to be in a long distance relationship and not only that we didn't expect these five things so thing number one one thing that i didn't expect is to see each other that often mm. like we see each other about every three months um give or take yeah but roughly around every three months and when we see each other we spend about three months with each other yeah so but i think we're pretty lucky no we're blessed. really lucky yeah we're really blessed because <laughs> we're really blessed because it like i said i didn't expect it whenever we had that conversation that we we're going to be in a relationship we we knew that we were going to be doing some traveling together but that didn't happen and i was just like i'm probably never going to see this girl yeah we still stayed together and we just let it kind of play out but we just kept seeing each other every couple of months every couple of months every couple of months and it's and it's worked out for three years people three years that's crazy yeah that's crazy which brings us into our next point since we see each other every three months it is so freaking expensive yeah like we literally had to put aside our life goals for our relationship. Yeah. Everything that we're saving up, whether it's for business, whether it's for travel, whether it's for this, we put it aside for our relationship because she lives in Spain. Yeah. I live in the States. We have to travel. I mean, it's not just a couple hours drive. It's a whole plane ticket. And then when you reach that other country, you have to find a place to stay or yeah. food or you live you have to live over there for three months mm -hmm. and it is expensive i feel like that makes it even more difficult to save up for when we get together yes it takes so much more time we're spending the money on seeing each other that it takes away money from actually being together and that's one of the things that we continue to talk about to this day is how do we prevent that from happening it's 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 almost inevitable. Like we have to yeah. see each other. And if we don't, if we want to save for our future, we can't see each other. And it's kind yeah. of, it's kind of, it, it sucks. It's a struggle it that we're still struggling with. But. Yes. And I don't know if anybody out there, a part of the LD world is struggling with that as well. Let us know because we need friends to talk to about that and see but if I, there's any easier way. I think most people are not struggling with that because they have like one person has a job in this country and the other person has a job somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So they can't really see each other. Do you understand? Mm, that's but true. We, you gotta ask for vacation time. We kind of have flexible jobs yeah we're entrepreneurs so and it makes it yeah so we can see each other so that obviously we choose that yeah we do choose that <laughs> the thing is most people are long distance because they have jobs in different countries mm -hmm. if people don't have jobs in these countries or different states or whatever they are together Very but true. the reason the reason why we haven't gotten to that point is because 
of our visa situation and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so we're figuring it out, but that's reason number two. Reason number three is that I didn't expect how much being on the phone, texting him, calling him would affect my life. Yeah, she's needy. Oh, it's not just that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that needy. Oh, I'm the needy one. Yeah. I'll admit it. I'll go ahead and admit it. I'm the needy one. But not just that. We we like to make sure we keep up with each other. We like to we like to do our best to feel like we're with each other mm. when we're not with each other. So that requires It's it's difficult to it's difficult when I'm in Barcelona. I wake six up. Six hour time difference. I wake Keep up that in mind. and then I do something for six hours and that's when you text me good morning and then mm -hmm. that's like midday for me and most often I like to be out by then. Yeah. But sometimes I try to like wait until you text me so I can talk to you. So that is something I didn't expect and I know we can like control it but no. It's something that we, we have. Wanna... Yeah, we, we, we fixed it or we're fixing it. And it's something that we've been working on. For example, she do it so sweet. She completely changed her whole sleep schedule just to talk to me at night. And it's one of the things that I'm very, very grateful for. But we are on the phone a lot. Like a lot. A lot. <laughs> and it's cool. I'm grateful that I do have a job that allows me to create my own time frame and to pretty much do my own thing. I'm my own boss. So it's cool that I can be able to communicate with her that mm -hmm. much if we didn't have that communication i don't know if if our relationship will be where it is today but that is definitely something that we didn't expect from a long distance yeah. relationship just chatting so much texting and facetime i realized how much i was on the phone when you went when you got to Bar when you when you came to barcelona mm -hmm. and i literally did not touch my phone and that's how it is when i'm only here because you're the only person I text. Your Facebook scroll. Facebook doesn't count. Anyway. When, when, um, you actually did it also. When you came to Barcelona, we just left our phones at home because we had no one to yeah, talk to. When or I was like, in Barcelona, I didn't have anybody to talk to. Yeah. I didn't have internet service outside of my apartment, which was cool. So I couldn't use it for directions. I couldn't text anybody i couldn't talk to anybody so i literally didn't have my phone when i was in when i was in spain yeah so that's what that's what when that's when i realized it when you went back to the states i was like oh my god i'm texting him i'm calling him like going from not having my phone to start texting you again it was like oh it's always take something to get readjusted yeah to each time yeah and she's about to leave here pretty soon so she's gonna get readjusted to that again yeah, so yeah yeah all right and since we're talking about the phone situations another thing that we didn't expect through a long distance relationship which is weird that we didn't expect this because this happens a lot just through text messaging anybody whether they're right next to you or long distance but the misunderstanding through text messaging meaning that if you text hey i'm busy you could mean you could read that as, oh man, she's too busy to talk to me. What is she doing? Who's she with? Why is she this busy when all she could be doing is editing one of our YouTube videos? Yeah. <laughs> or or if you're like short and I'm like, why is he being short? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I'll be like, I know I'm 5'8", but I'm not that short. <laughs> you have to throw that in there. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Anyway. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay. You misunderstand people on daily basis, like your friends. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I think I was surprised with how much we misunderstand each other because that doesn't happen to me, to like my mom or when I text well, my the friends thing, or... The thing for me, it happens, but when I'm texting my friends, I don't really care to dig into it because I'm just like, ah, uh, fully. But mm -hmm. like to you, I'm just like... I. Like, why are you, what, what is going on? Because I care so much about your feelings that I want to make sure that yeah. what I am saying isn't coming across wrong or what you're saying isn't coming across wrong. And probably also because we talk about a lot of deep stuff. And we talk a lot. I don't yeah. talk to my friends a lot. My friends know that. They know I love them to death, but I don't really like talking to them. Yeah. So 
that's the cool thing about friendships versus a relationship. You don't really have to talk to your friends and they still know we're cool with relationships. I got to keep up with her. But I'm still cool. Sometimes. <laughs> the last thing that I didn't expect, I don't know about doing, but that I didn't expect when I first met her and we got into a long distance relationship is I didn't expect to meet her family. And that soon. Yeah, it was like I invited a year. you to Iceland. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Like, no, it was the first. It was no. You met me in. Um, we met in May. You came in December. It was the same December. Mm. It was six months after you first met me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> So yeah, one, I didn't expect to meet her family. Two, I didn't expect to meet her family in Iceland, which was actually amazing. She has an awesome family. I'm not just saying that because I'm on YouTube. Like her family is seriously super cool. And it was also a cool experience being in Iceland over New Year's Eve. I'm going to add that as like a bonus thing I didn't expect. I never expected to go to Iceland. Yeah. And another bonus is I never expected to meet an Icelandic person. I kind of, the thing is, like, I kind of expected that because I feel like I'm very open. So when I first met you, I was just like, please come to Iceland. No, when she first met me on Instagram, she was like, you should come to Barcelona. I was like, I don't know you, but I'm buying a ticket. You did? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to meet her family so soon. And I thought that that was really cool to be able to do that. It's a, yeah. It was an awesome experience meeting awesome people. So I think... When it comes to family, what I didn't expect is how close I've gotten to your family, even though we are long distance. Mm, that's true. Mm. That's really true. Yeah. I really didn't expect that. Yeah, she talks to my little brother like on Instagram and my little brother's like, hey, do it did this. I'm like, I haven't even talked to do it today. How do you know? <laughs> it's he's weird. My, he's my best friend. Yeah, that's weird. But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that I would say that's my didn't expect like from family. Yeah. So yeah, those are a couple of things that we didn't expect from a long distance relationship. Um, we kind of jumped right into it without thinking about anything. And that's really been the story of our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> We've been jumping into a lot of stuff without really taking, without planning it. And it's worked out really well so far. But um, so leave a... <laughs> Leave a comment below if you guys have any questions about um, some of the things that we didn't expect from a long distance relationship. And also leave a comment below and tell us some of the things that you've encountered that you didn't expect with your significant other. Long distance or not, we want to converse, Sir Sate, with you. Why, why have you been using that word? Because I'm trying to be wordy. Oh, you said a lot without breathing. I did. I was just wondering Because I took why. a deep breath before and I was like... Coming in. <laughs> That's all we got for you guys today. Um, go ahead and hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell because we got more Ding. coming for you in the future. We'll see you later, dudes. <laughs>